Hey guys, Chris here, founder of Rooted Music. Guys, at Rooted, our goal is to help you learn to play the music that you love by coaching you on the why and not just the what. And we're gonna do just that in today's tutorial. But before we do, I'd love for you to subscribe to this channel here so you don't miss out on any of the new worship tutorials that we have for you. And I'd also love for you to check out the links in the description of this video where you can download our chord chart to this song for free and also where you can learn more worship songs just like this for just a dollar for the first 30 days. Check out those links and let's go ahead and dive into the video. Hey guys, welcome to Rooted Music. Today we are taking a look at the song by Torin Wells called Famous For. And this song, really, really cool tune, is in 4-4. Four, four. It's in the key of B-flat. So we're going to be capoed on the third fret and playing in G-shape. So from now on, I'll just go ahead and communicate in numbers. Um, <clears throat> and just to say, on this recording, there's a couple different parts that I'll kind of show you. Uh, on, on the tour and Wells recording. And really the electric and the rest of the band are kind of carrying it, but the acoustic does do a little part, a little picking part in the verse. And so I'll show you that, and then I'll also show you just what the chords are. And you could just play the chords if you're carrying the song. Uh, but just to say, when the acoustic does come in on this particular recording of the song, He's doing like this kind of rolling finger picking thing, which I use my pick and then these two fingers with it. And I start on the top. It kind of comes in like just before the one. Uh, so with the beats here, two, three. So to slow it down, it's. So it's just the third, fourth, and fifth string over and over. And that's the whole verse part. Uh, and really the chords in there are the four going to the five, which we'll, we'll, we'll get into that here in a minute. But it's just the bottom three strings of that. So, so for the whole first verse, again, on the Torrin Wells recording. If you're playing this by yourself or with your own band at your church, however you want to do it, you, it's up to interpretation, but that's the part from the record if you wanted to know the actual part. And he doesn't even come in until halfway through the first verse and plays that. And then in the second verse, they actually play the chords. So just to say, the chords to the first verse are uh, four, and this is, as well, this is the intro too. It's a four, which we're gonna grab like this, like a C shape. And we're gonna keep our pinky right here on the top, uh, top string on the sixth fret, and our first finger on the fourth fret, the second string, third string's open, and then our middle finger on the fifth fret of the fourth string, our ring finger on the sixth fret of the fifth string, and we'll play from the fifth string down. And then it's like one, two, three. Then on beat four, it goes to the six, which we'll grab like this. We'll leave this finger where it is and we'll leave our middle finger where they are. And we'll take our first finger and put it on to the fifth fret of the fifth string. And that'll be our six. And we'll just keep our pinky where it is. And again, our middle finger where it was. So that's gonna be the four and then on beat four, it goes to the six minor, and then it goes to a five, and we're gonna catch that like this. So that's gonna be kind of the same C shape that we did, exact same thing. We're gonna take that, slide it all up a half, or a whole step. <clears throat> so that'll be your pinky again on the eighth fret of the first string, your first finger on the sixth fret of the second string, third string will stay open, and then your middle finger on the seventh fret of the fourth string and your ring finger on the fifth fret, or excuse me, on the five string uh, on the eighth fret. And you play from the fifth string down. So that's the chords to so the verse. It goes four, 
six, five, four, six, five. And then the third time it goes four, one, which we'll catch like this. We'll just take our our uh, <clears throat> ring finger and put it on the sixth fret of the sixth string. And I always keep it kind of drug over the fifth string to meet it so that I can just strum and you just don't hear the fifth string. So the, that third time, the chord on beat four is the one, then it goes to the five, and then it ends with the four, and then it goes to the chorus. So that's the first verse, and I say that because the second verse is going to have a, a, a different passing chord, but if you were playing the verse uh, and not playing the part, this is what it would sound like in time. So that's the first verse. In the second verse, that part is is in the recording, but chances are really good you're going to be strumming along with the band, or if you're leading it by yourself, you're going to want to strum. So it's the same chords that we just learned for the uh, for the first verse, the four, six, five, four, six, five, and then four, one, five. But in between, they do a one over three, which we're going to catch like this. We're going to put our middle finger on the fifth fret of the fifth string and then all of these notes the fourth third and second string will be open we're going to leave our pinky on the top there so and you'll strum from the fifth string down so it's in time this is what it sounds like four six five one over three four six five one over three, four. One, five, four. And then it goes six, five before it hits back to the chorus. So that's verse uh, two or verse three, depending upon how you want to <clears throat> count it because the first verse is doubled. So in the chorus, we're going to grab some of the same chords, but we're going to grab them a little differently. Uh, it starts on a four chord, which we're going to do like this, uh, add nine, C shape that we play down here. Uh, <clears throat> so to do that, it's your first finger on the fifth fret of the fourth string, your middle finger on the sixth fret of the fifth string, and then the third string open, and then your ring finger on the sixth fret of the second string, and your pinky on the sixth fret of the first string, and you play from the fifth string down. That'll be the four. And then we'll go to a five sus, which we're going to grab like this. We're not going to play that one. So you can if you want, but this one will probably fit really good with the band. So to do that, it's just your fourth string open, your <clears throat> first finger on the fifth fret of the third string, your middle finger, or excuse me, your ring finger on the sixth fret of the second string, and your pinky again, right here on the same spot on top. So, four, five, and then we'll grab our six like this, which we were grabbing it like that earlier. We're just simply putting our, um, our ring finger on the sixth fret of the second string, making it a six minor seven. And then it goes to a five over seven, which is basically the seven of the key walking up from six to the one. So we'll still play like a five sus up here, but we'll finger that with our, to grab the top portion of it, we'll keep our pinky in the same spot that it's been. Our ring finger is gonna stay in the same spot, sixth fret of the second string. And then our middle finger is gonna be on the fifth fret of the third string. And then these two are going to be open, and then your first finger is going to be on the fifth fret, catching the seven of the key, right there on the sixth string. So it's a 
five over seven, and then it goes to the one, which will leave these fingers where they've been the whole time, the whole time, and then we're gonna grab the the root of the one chord right there with our middle finger, and again just dragging it over the fifth string. So that's kind of muted. So the whole chorus is four, five, six, five over seven to the one. And those two are uh, a little less time than the rest of the chord. So here's what it sounds like in time. So that's the chorus. That's what it feels like every time. And you know, your strumming is kind of up to your interpretation, whatever you feel like you need to do to fill out with the band. You know, my rule of thumb is always to kind of do the most, or do, do whatever part's gonna stay out of the way the most and just fit into the mix well. So, especially if I'm playing acoustic guitar. Uh, the only other section to the song is the bridge, and it goes to the six, and when they first go into the bridge, it's just diamonds, just cut out. And then it has a passing chord to the one, and then to the four, and then back to the one, then to the five. So in time, it sounds like this. Six. Four. One. Five. And then it repeats. Six. One. Four. One. Five. And then they just start to build up. And at the very end, builds up cuts out, goes back into a chorus. And that's pretty much all the parts to the song. So hope you like it. Hope that equips you to play it either by yourself or with a band, whatever arrangement you wish to do. Thanks for watching this video. And if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below. See you guys later. Guys, thanks so much for joining us today in this tutorial. I hope you really enjoyed it and learned a lot through it. Make sure to subscribe to our channel here so you don't miss any of the new tutorials we have coming up. And make sure to check out those links in the description of this video so you don't miss out on the chord chart and you don't miss out on more and more worship song coaching for just a dollar for the first 30 days. Check out those links and we'll see you soon.